love of concerts, interviews, commercials, events, documentaries. Why your film goes in? Goes in. You are now tuned in to Waste TV. Waste you are now tuned in to Waste TV. Waste you are now tuned in to Waste TV. Why your film goes in? It's a party on your TV. Yes, you better bet. Everything fresh. Comedy in it, had a lot of street in it, had a lot of real lyrical content in it. You know, like I say, we, we, we just wanted to get back to the ground roots of hip hop and let a lot of individuals know hey, look, it is real over there, over here in the DMV area. So, definitely, we just wanted we just want a lot of people to pay attention because, like I said, when you tune in watching this documentary right now, you, you're getting a lot of history of what's going on. And you see us, and you're seeing us crossing over the underground New York City and getting the love. And then taking and bridging that, that street DMV area and bridging the gap right there. You know, what a lot of individuals have been trying to do for a long time. But I think I think we really hit it home and really struck home with this. You know, and like I say, anything's possible. You got a team, a crazy team, that has your back on any idea that you see fit that you that you want to get done you know you sold out to your idea you have other people sell out to your idea you can conquer the, you can conquer the universe you can conquer the world Tay Razor Waste yeah ain't it though alright Posse TV you sitting here with DMV's representative Big Hand No got Carlos McCormick the manager of Waste Entertainment Waste to my right Favorite got manager. Beat Banger to my left. What up, what up? He's the reason why you hearing this track in the back, ain't it though? Man, I gotta be honest. That's the producer. When I first got that beat from Beat Banger, I was going to write that song myself. It, it was no momentum, it was no Tay Razor, and I didn't even like the track, to be honest with you. Like, I told, I told Carlos I wasn't even going to do it. So then I put it down. He said, man, he had a good idea where he had his homeboy he met from at when when he did the 50 cent video you know the okay all right joint he got he played a role in that he ran into momentum and he was just preaching like man dude dope we need to holler at him and you know me man i'm gonna keep it real i, I don't really deal with dudes at all like if it ain't in if it ain't inner house in house i'm not i'm not even really paying attention to niggas so we got up with mo he gave me the beat i dropped my verse Tay wrote this verse mo dropped this verse and it was just a hit man i mean and the, and the best thing about it is we're unexpected when i slept on it i thought it wasn't gonna be what it was it was bigger than i even expected to be and the concept behind that is um basically the way the way it's set up you got a a, a cat who's a aspiring to be rapper he wants to be an mc and um i guess he's going about it the wrong way he's not a dope mc so he catches an ad in the magazine with dr anado and dr anado basically takes the dm the dna from me big hand no momentum and tay razor put it into him and he comes back as a dope mc so it, it was just really it was just to show people you know a whole nother side bring concepts back to videos and not just jumping around in the video and talking talking shit you know what i'm saying is concepts content that's it's always going to be quality over quantity understand that i have to say that one more time 
It's always going to be quality over quantity. Going there with my whole crew, Posse TV. I'm Dr. Boy Momentum right here. Way Squad. Good, yeah, man. just loving it right now. Yeah, I told you we was going in for the DMV and adopting the NYC time check. Yes, we're going in Posse TV. Doing Stand up. Doing for the DMV, baby, all the way. Say Razor Momentum. What's up, world? Momentum's cool, man. He's, 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 uh, he's from New York. It's a different flavor. He's like more, he's a conscious rapper. I like him. I like him a lot. I like his flavor a lot. He's lyrical. And I can, when you listen to his lyrics, you can tell he, he, he puts a lot of thought into what he writes down. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I, I got a lot of respect, Momentum. And, you know, I just love, we're going to do a lot of more. A lot of more uh, songs in the future to come, so it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be lovely. Way, say Razor, Momentum, Big Hand No, the whole Way Squad. So in love with you. Well, man, I think he's a great guy. I think he's doing everything he can do in his power to make the situation better, being as though, I mean, he didn't get it in the right state. I mean, when he got it, it, was, it, it had eight years of another person in control. So when he got it, they just want him to change everything. So I think they just need to let up off Obama, give him a chance to do what he's supposed to do. They gave Bush eight years. Man, I love the movie, man. I never thought I'd be alive to see it you know for so for it to happen i actually shed it a tear because it was like so moving to me and just the whole just everybody like the little kids show that you can do anything in this country no matter what goes on as long as you strive hard and pay your dues live right you can accomplish anything man that's what we represent wander survive do everything when you do that you can accomplish greatness Give him some time to be who he's gonna be, and I'm, he's gonna be a shining star. It's changed. You know, I feel like, I feel like now, you know, the DMV had has found change with Waste Entertainment. You know, just like, just like the United States found change with Obama. You know, change is here. Like I say, I feel like that hip hop cover change is here with Waste and T. Wanting to survive through everything. I don't think you get a real powerful, strong acronym to anything on a format. Right? Like, like wanting to survive through everything fits every format. You know, positivity. You know, we 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 uplifting here. Definitely gone crazy, man, because we feel like this should have been happening yeah, man, yeah, a long yeah. time ago. We finally, I got to take my shirt off. Mm, on this oh one. man, we finally got that. You know what I'm saying? I need y'all to see. Watch your microphone. You know what I'm saying? Taxation, Taxation represented. represented. Yeah, yeah, man. We the only ones with this drink. You know, in in the city. Yeah. And we well, had to without representation. Well, that first. is about yeah, because you know what I'm saying. DC ain't a state, so we weren't able to vote, you know what I'm saying, on what we pay taxes for, you know what I'm saying? So what? everybody would ride around with the taxation without representation yeah. on the license plate trying, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Basically, you know what I'm saying, yeah. protests for that, you know what I'm saying? And they just recently passed it, you know what I'm saying? I yeah. think a lot of stuff had to do with Obama. Or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Whatever's going on. It's a lot all of people, people. All the people that are moving in. It's a lot of people moving in DC too. Yeah, people with a lot of gentrification going on. But you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? That's we how it's welcome I be. the family, the first family. Oh, yeah, sure. yeah, <laughs> we welcome them. Yeah. I wanna thank God for allowing me to be here, survive. You know, we uh we a minority in this country and we an endangered species, a young black man that's educated. Mm. So I'm just I'm just thankful for my life. Like I say, I I really appreciate Obama the things that he's that he's doing, you know, for the for the African American community, you know, and also the world community as a whole. Embrace it, cause understand you gonna understand this when you when you look over here with wasting the team, you're gonna see that we went in in all diverse atmospheres of mu musicians, music, people, you know, everybody. Everybody's waste. 
You know, you waste too for tuning in. You waste. Everybody's waste. Everybody's wandering. Show how we really do. 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 Give what the fuck they want. Hey, you're the manager. You're a big hand nose manager. Tell us about yourself. Oh, definitely. You know, I'm I'm the I'm the mastermind behind this wonderful. This wonderful family really right here behind me, Waste the Entertainment. Give them what the fuck they want. What the fuck is up with you? Dog, I ain't fucking you. you be Carlos, like man, we go, way, we go way back. Before all the rap stuff, man, we used to play video games together with my uncle that I was telling you, you know, that we, we, we got together and we got the meaning and the acronym, the Waste going on. So we went, we go back, oh, man, playing video games in the living room, man. So basically what happened was, I got up with him. He had been doing his thing with other type of people. I had been doing my thing with the music full time. Even though we weren't working together at the time, I would still give him the CD, let him hear the music. So then eventually, whatever he had going on ain't pan out. And then I just asked him, man, would, would he want to be the manager? Would that be his field? He told me he, he had plenty of time and plenty of experience in working with stuff like that. So I gave him a try, man, and the rest is history. That's my dude. That's family. We like blood. Basically, that's what's good, man. Thanks for coming out. Show how we really do. Show how we really do. Show how we really do. Oh, big hand, man. That's my cousin, man. We blood, so you know we go way back, way back. The first show we did, I was eight, he was eleven. We did in Ellicott City. You know what I'm saying? So that's when we was with Team Hardcore. We not with them no more. But yeah, we go way back, man. It's family. It's a family movement. Yeah, we like blood, so. Family all day, you know what I mean? You want some real shit? This nigga can fire all day. No faking, no bullshit, real behind the scenes type shit. Grimy, gritty, real, you know what I mean? If you got kids, I guess you leave the room. Don't, you know what I mean? Man. It's all good, just some real shit. Bring it back, V, all day, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucking DMV, I get it up, you know what I mean? All, all day. day. Word up. Respect to you, Sean. Big hand, no man. Well, that's my, that's my big homie. That's my big cousin, man. You know, that's blood. So we've been family since Sandbox, J Hat. You know, and we just doing what we're supposed to do. You know. Waste is definitely, you know, a label or you know, a company that just brings everyone in. You know, they're like, they're kind of like the church that accepts every religion. They kind, they accept everybody. You know, and they have trust in you, yeah, so I, I all, rap, have rap, a lot of appreciation for Waste. White. Waste Entertainment, to me, means a bunch of brothers that's pretty much uh, like a family. You know what I'm saying? I always say, you know, brothers from another mother. You know what I'm saying? And uh, bottom line with that is that since since the jump, since I, I met No, since I met Los, since I met, you know, Madison, since I met, I haven't met everybody in, 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 the, in the family, but I, I met some, and, and everyone that I've met, uh, pretty much is, is really sticking together. So when you have a, a team that's uh, that pretty much sticks together like that, the only thing that can stop you is yourself. You know? So you know, one that survives through everything, you know, obviously means sticking together and, and keeping fam. This my this the older yeah, cousin yeah, Greg, yeah. my other cousin Greg, little nigga from North from North Fayetteville. Carolina. He's in North Carolina, yeah, he right? In Fayetteville yeah. right now. He locked up, but we are gonna get him out real soon. It's gonna be crazy. Oh, man, Waste Entertainment, they fam. You know what I mean? Waste, they 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 did a spotlight on me, so they you know officially that they they're officially my brothers and sisters over there. At Waste Entertainment, and you know we get down like that. They got a, anybody got a problem with with uh. Los or, or, or anybody else come and holler at me, man. They just family, you know what I mean? We get down. He's at a lot of events, you know, that I do. And, and you know, we just, we, we family. We were together for, like, two, three years. Yeah. Fucking uh, Big Hand No approached us. And he was like, how you feel about some hardcore shit? And I'm like, well, we sing hardcore metal. I fucking grew up on, like, Anthrax and, and uh, Biohazard and, uh, who, who the fuck did that song? Definitely. No. Bring the noise! Who does that's Anthrax and Public Enemy. <laughs> anthrax and Public Enemy. That was yeah. a shit right there. Yeah. Killer Bees. Yep. Yeah. Biohazard, they did some uh, rap core, the uh, fucking innovators of a hardcore rap style. And uh, I was like, when I was in rap, you know, PGC, they play like Soul on Sunday morning. I'm like, no, no, no. I need that fucking pumping shit. You know what I'm saying? Hardcore, hardcore metal. I need some Char Graham. Mm. That's the thing. People have lost in touch with uh, true hip hop. What true hip hop really right. is, like the stuff they play on uh, the radio, it's not even hip hop. It's a, it's a, it's a wannabe statement, pretty much. It's you know.
It's a club song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This your favorite DJ, DJ BS, live from 90.0. I had my man who was here last night. Number one song in DC. It's none other than karaoke, the clown song. Believe it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Red Mini Kuma, who was sore, up the tone, flip flop, yeah. Hip hop in DC, killing on the scene, two models, I beat, I beat, yeah, yeah, I beat my feet. Come along to the clown song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, man. Man, man, after listening after to this, listen to this, listen to this, listen to this, I'm exhausted. This, exhausted. Is this music? This music? This music? This music? In my hand right here is the internet connection. Me and Knuckles, which is a producer from, you know, Newport News, Virginia. He did all the productions on this joint. Yo, this Knuckles, man. Bloodshot Productions. He came up, you know, being as though we got all the beats via internet. We called it the internet connection by him being on the one side of the DMV and me on the other side. We got together. He sent me all the beats. He did all the production on the joint from 1 to 11, and then 12 to 14 is bonus tracks. Yo, my man Big Hand knows nothing but the truth. What? That we that that you see right here, stop. we got the no video. Big hand knuckles, big hand nose knuckles. Yes, the first video from this. I'm an MC um, from DC. We got a commercial right now as big we speak no, for the CD. No, and check no, it out, man. You can no go to www.wastashentertainment.com and we download the go, CD. Go, go. If you can't get but to us, you can do it like that. Hip hop. Or you can get it hand to hand. And man, it's as far as this change, man. And basically, the way it's set up. It's like mixtape format. No, I ain't Every track man. has maybe three to five joints on it. So you got maybe 60 songs on this one CD. And ain't nobody do that like that. You know what I'm saying? If you hear or see anybody doing that, know that they stole it from Big Hand No. Because we stand. Waste. Waste. Internet connection, man. Internet connection. Internet connection. I met Waste Entertainment by accidentally. Um, would have never thought. I was actually doing a showcase for someone um, under the name Jay Hamilton, and I ended up meeting a model there named Carlos that I would have never thought anything of, you know, that there was going to be anything in the future. There's so he's modeling, he's just doing his own thing. I'm singing, I'm doing my own thing, and that's that. And it kind of ended at that. We didn't exchange any contacts, but, but he did know my name. And I didn't know his name. A year later, unexpectedly, Carlos McCormick has gotten in touch with me through Facebook. And I was so ecstatic. And I had no idea that he was part of Waste Entertainment. And he basically showed me the link. And I looked through the site. And I realized, you guys are legit. Um, and I started to talk to him and keep in touch with him. And I realized how, you know, how like official they are and how they keep in contact with you all the time he didn't just call me and forget about me for a month he kept in contact with me we were able to collaborate over the phone i felt like we were right there next to each other although i was in new york and he was in dc so i had a you know i was very surprised with the project that he was involved in because i didn't feel that vibe from him at first because you guys are so down to earth so i had a very very great meeting with waste entertainment Man, that was amazing to me to be out there with a rock band. You gotta understand when you're dealing with rock bands, if you aren't as hype as them, you'll look dull. Cause they're on the stage screaming at the top of their lungs all performance long. So if you don't give up there and get some of that energy and use it for, towards you, you just gonna look dull. Don't touch. We're all Sorted is an amalgamation of hardcore riffs, intense lyrics, yes. and pretty serious beats. And having a sick fucking sense of humor, too. Just four yeah. guys with a common goal, trying to make it in a hardcore world. Yes, drink sir. a lot of beer. Mm. That's right. 
the way that came about was funny. I had got the track, and I had actually did that track on my own. It was a solo track. So then Tay's homeboy knew the rock band. So he put me on the rock band, and basically what we was going to do was have them replay the track. They gra grabbed the track, got wind of it, and then put some guitar riffs on there and some new strings, and then turned the track into something totally different. <laughs> Once I heard the song, I was just like, we can do this. Once I heard we the song, it had so much fucking that. soul in it, man. And that's, you know, when I was growing up, I used to play blues and jazz when I was in high school. And listen to blues and jazz and listen Which to uh, my boyfriend's name. Listen to blues and jazz and the way a lot like, you know, B.B. King and all them grew up and, uh, you know, talking about the old jazz guys. Listen to sweet you know, Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, and you hear the common guys. It's just like, it's like they, they try and formulate some sort of formula that will make them popular. They say what they say to play how to play. We heard big and had known this shit for real. And it wasn't it wasn't formulated. What you wanna do now? Heart. It felt good. What you wanna do? It wasn't even it wasn't even just hearing Big Hand know, but it's the representation that he gives himself. You know, he, he's a hard worker like us. You know, we all got that same common goal. We're all striving for the same got thing. Sexy and it's hard to achieve perfection, but you know, what's what's better than getting the next best thing? I learned a lot with a rock band. I mean, they their music is so much louder than rap music. I, I gain a new respect for them, so there's no limit to what I might do. You might see me with a, I might do a whole rock album. Maybe not. Ain't no telling. You know, we going with, we, we, this is God, as God written, whatever he want me to do, or what, how, that's how we going to do it. Um, I know everybody, everybody has their own idea of how they want to reset the industry. Whether they think, you know, um, certain artists shouldn't be in, um, you know, certain managers, certain um, producers, certain, you know, whatever. Everybody has their own idea. So for me, this is the song. If you're an MC, jump in that cypher when the industry reset comes on. You're gonna hold people down, of course, but at the end of the day, man, this business is grimy. Right, very it's grimy. Grimy business. Grimy. Like, seriously. Like. There's so much talent that's not heard. It's gonna tell a story. And the story is basically, it is an industry reset. I don't have nothing to prove to nobody. That's part of the BSC. I know. I know where I have is out there. I know where everything is saying well, not well. Something about the car, or if it does come and I don't know what I need to do. That's the industry reset. You know, if I can reset anything, I will reset taking the negativity out of the industry. The shit on the radio is payola shit. Motherfuckers paying for their shit to be heard. When I figured it out was I was in I was in ninth grade. Uh, me and my family was going through a little, a little tough time, and um, I decided that no matter what, I wanted to have a certain lifestyle. I'm telling you. Just pray. If any of y'all got a dream, pray, be patient, and believe you're worth it, and it's going to happen. I'm telling you. First hand. <laughs> it's brainwashing. You sit there and listen, listen to this. People telling you this and watching this and listening to this and you sitting in the comfort of your, of your spot or somebody else's spot or something, listening to it or your zone. Whether or not we realize it or not, TV, it do something to our brain. It does. You see these people and they rich, they got all, they got this and that and we want that. And I wanted that and my parents couldn't give it to me. So I decided I had to get it myself. So I got out here, did stupid shit, but I ain't gonna go on all that. But somebody taught me a lesson. And when I got that gump into my head, I was like, my life is not in my hands right now. Mm. If 
I come out of this, God was with me. I was wandering and surviving. Them boys are pump faking. Don't let nobody like pump faking. Because you ain't got to say nothing. To this day, I can't really, I can't really tell you. It, the, the only explanation for why I'm alive is that God was with me and I survived. It was no, it was no like luck or chance or nothing. I'm fortunate. Ooh, ooh, got nose, they can smell. They got eyes, they can smell. Hawks got eyes, they can see. They know, they know when you have place, and you know when you have place. Don't let people fool you, man. You ain't got to be no cold killer. But trust me, I just... Again for coming out to bed. Yeah. <laughs> Yup! <laughs> this is the lost lady thought of the day. Yup! My lady. girl KK in the building. You know? That's what it yeah. is. She fucked up on the She get it dance. down. We had the baddest yeah. dubs in the video. She yeah. elevator. Waste yeah. all day. I got nothing but love for that waste entertainment, man. Right? That waste TV. Elevator to the top. Thank you for tuning in again to this, doc this is wonderful documentary platform. You know, the Dean Weed at NYC, the Journey Begin documentary, Waste Entertainment. Closing out in junction with Posse TV. Big shout out to Time Check, you know, for for believing in this phenomenal vision that Waste and T has. You know, it's always it's always good when when I can call somebody, and I know they got you, they got your back for the idea and the dream that you have. You know, so big shout out to New York, and like I said, we bridging that DMV gap, that DMV gap to NYC. The bridge is here, and like I said, the change is here. You know, the change is here in the DMV, and it's with Waste and T. We all wonder and surviving through everything, and you waste too. Signing off. It's your boy Big Hand. No, you're definitely rocking with Posse TV, and um, we want to shout out all the people who want and surviving through everything. Waste and T, where you heard it first. Posse TV, Big Hand. No, we out. Big Hand. No, Waste Entertainment TV, G Sparks. Yeah. That's right. Waste Yo. Entertainment. Waste, what up, big head? No, sorted. Waste Entertainment. Here we go, motherfuckers. Waste sorted. All the way to Bring the top. Bringing man. Yo, I got to say, Keep man. For real. Drink. Afghanistan, that's what woke me the fuck up, man. There ain't nothing that will wake you up like being in a goddamn foxhole yeah. with a button next to you. The motherfucker is like, like Max here, man. I mean, this guy, I, I trust this motherfucker you, in a foxhole. <laughs> yeah. You know? When I was in Afghanistan for a fucking year, his brothers like this, they'll watch your backside, you know? That's yeah. that's what waste means to me. Wandering and surviving through everything. No time. matter what happens, you just gotta keep on pushing on. That's what it is. I'll give you five minutes to get your hand off my cop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my nigga, you better show me love. From the east. From the east. From the east. From the east, from the east, from the east, from the east, from the east.